Hey guys, welcome back to Homemaking with Heather. Today I am just going to jump right into this. We are taking off our closet doors. We are in our game room right now. We're going to clear out all of this stuff. If you guys had seen this before, this is our junk closet. It's our catch-all. We throw everything under the sun in here and we want to actually make this more usable for when we're having our poker parties. So my husband is very allergic to cats. When we had taken off those closet doors, we realized that there was a lot of dust and cat fluff. So you're gonna see me throughout this video vacuuming up, him leaving because he has really bad allergies, and just the complete clean out. If you guys are new here, Thank you so much for stopping in. I hope you enjoy this content. If you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss anything. If you guys are returning fans, thank you so much for sticking around and watching my videos. One big smile across my face. We used to dance our way. If you guys are wondering where I'm actually taking all of this stuff, I don't know yet. I put some stuff in the garage, I put some stuff in the bird room, uh, some stuff needs to be hung up on the wall. It's just stuff. Stuff, stuff, and more stuff. And I am still looking for places to put it. Some of this stuff I need to keep. Other things I can get rid of. I have two bags of just Goodwill stuff in the back of my car right now from when we did this because a lot of this stuff we don't even use anymore. Now the closet doors themselves were really easy to remove. You know, you just lift them up and pull them off the rack. But when we remove the bottom rack, it is actually put on with a piece of wood. And that's what you see Savon working on right now is removing this wood and they hammered it, they glued it. They wanted to make sure those closet doors were not going anywhere. So as we were doing this, he actually scratched the floor in a couple of places, but luckily they do make those markers that you can use on hardwood floors for scratches. So we did use that. It kind of took care of it a little bit, but eventually what we would like to do is remove all of these dark wood floors and put in something lighter, whether it's like a lighter laminate, a lighter wood, or even a tile. In case you guys were wondering, we are not Mr. Fix-It people. We do not normally do this kind of stuff. We would rather hire somebody to do it, but 
you know, that's not always feasible. Sometimes you don't have the money or sometimes you don't have the time to wait for people. And with this day, we were just kind of sitting around thinking about what we could do for the day. And we just decided, hey, let's do this. We already have pretty much all of the stuff. So let's knock it out ourselves. So that's what we did. I did have to take a trip to the Dollar Tree to pick up some sponges and pick up some more caulking because we needed it. I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your weight is strong Cannot keep it low-key 
Thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you guys are interested in seeing me clean the poker room before this, go ahead and click on this video over here and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now. And you're off my